Hey guys, Siru here with Not Avid for Blender. In this one, we're gonna be talking about L Select and S Select from Mesh Machine. Just a word before we start, guys, there's an amazing content coming on February to our Patreon. Wicked things are happening right now, so check it out. Links in the video description. Now, there was a cool video I posted yesterday about offset, and you know, go ahead and watch it if you haven't. It's about offset in Hardops and Mesh Machine. And there was a uh, one of the viewers, Maz, messaged me and said, Listen, dude, why don't you select this loop using L Select? And I was like, Oh shit, I forgot about it. So today I'm going to show you how to use L Select and S Select in Mesh Machine, which is a brilliant feature and probably going to save you a ton of time. So we're going to create another Boolean, uh, kind of like yesterday, so similar. And I'm going to try to replicate the situation and show you. Um, what's the what's the kerfuffle about so let's make it smaller select both and uh, let's go to operations and sharpen let's grab some loop in here and also we need some loops in here so one here one here a few here and we're done move it a bit in and uh, booleans and union and for some reason my screencast keys are not working again there you go uh, let's bring, bring it to local and click control click on sharpen which will introduce sharp edges on every single edge that's above 30 degrees because if you go to control tilde menu with hard ups you'll see that sharp sharpness is set here at 30 degrees plus meaning if you add mark sharp it's going to be applied to every single edge above 30 degrees so now the the thing i've done yesterday was i was selecting this whole edge manually by you know control clicking around because alt clicking will not do anything unlike here because you don't have quads you have angons right now the cool feature from uh, mesh machine which i completely forgot about is the l select and s select now as l select is going to allow you to select loops through angons so you can probably see what's coming i'm going to press y go to select and l select and boom you got this whole edge selected right so no matter geometry uh, geometry doesn't matter it's just gonna go and follow the sharp edge okay so now what you can do is go to y and you can just go to boolean cleanup and clean it up okay with literally one click and then you press okay and then you go to offset and you got offset and boolean cleanup in literally two fucking clicks which is amazing now when we're going to be talking about um s select um, it's a little bit different because um, L select will not work on multiple edges. So, for example, if I wanted to select, you know, two or three of them, right? Um, L select will not work. Okay, it just will not do anything. But S select will select every single um, connected sharp edge that you clicked on. So, if you click on, for example, two of them, it will select every single edge. Uh, sharp edge connected to uh, these edges right so in this case it's gonna be two loops so if you go to select s select and boom right everything is selected so now the situation when i would love to remember you know that this option exists well, when i was making decals because in decals you have a situation for example like uh let's grab this plane here and let's solidify this and apply this and then we're going to cut it here and press V for, uh, you know, array and drop it down. Okay. And then uh, let's say we're going to, you know, to apply this and, uh, you know, we got this kind of a situation and there are many ways of selecting, um, you know, these edge, edge loops, right? What you could do is go here, press G, uh, shift G and go to a uh, parameter and then expand the selection and then go here and for example select edge uh, the boundary loops right and you're gonna get here as well but um, you know what if you know these um, these circles right or whatever have different size and are on different orientations the parameter or coplanar selection might not work so you're gonna have to go off of the hard edges so what you can do is simply select you know bits uh, of these rings right so like click on one edge on each of the loops and go with the S select and this will you know work perfectly for you so there you go that's the uh, two really fantastic features from mesh machine then even you know i forgot about so i hope you enjoyed the vid guys give us a like and sub if you did and links to the add-on in the video description uh, thanks for watching catch you next video